How to create handwriting practice book interiors using PowerPoint. My name is Somalik and in this video I am going to show you how to create this page using PowerPoint. So before doing that, if you are new to my channel then do subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any new video from me. So let's get started. I am here in the PowerPoint and I have created this page and its page size is 8.5 into 11 inches let me show you that click on the design and from here slide size and custom slide size and you can see here it is 8.5 inches into 11 inches so how to do that just go to home and from here we will add a new blank slide new slide and click on the blank slide here uh, we need to add some lines so that we can create this type of interior and after creating those lines, creating those lines, we will write these dotted letters on that. So stick around, I will show you this whole process and I, I, I will also show you how to get this font, dotted font for free for commercial, that you can use for commercial, commercial purposes as well. So let's start. Go to insert and click on the table and either you can select these two rows and uh, one into two uh, table which means uh, number of column is one and number of rows is two or you can select insert table and manually insert number of columns one and number of rows two and then click ok this will uh, add a little table of two rows and one column now we need to modify this table just uh, click on the layout and change the width of these rows to match that of page width of page we know the page width is 8.5 inches so that, uh, therefore we will uh, make this table uh, 7.5 inches wide we, uh, we will leave, uh, leave half inch toward the right uh, toward, toward the outer margin and half inch toward the gutter so click on the table and from click on the layout and here on the width of the table increase the width to 7.5 inches and it move it toward the top here you can also see the scale just place it in front of 5 so that 0.5 inches is also left toward the height of this table this page now once we have uh, you have done this now click on the layout again and from the row to row distance this height means row to row distance try to reduce the distance as much as you can but by default powerpoint allows 0.36 inches between rows so once we have done this again click on the table and go to table design and click on the shading and click on no fill now again it will uh, this uh, the table may disappear but as the table was selected so we can uh, see the table is selected already or you can also uh, skip this step first time you can click on fill and some uh, use some color like black uh, for the time being now click on the uh, pen style click on the table design and click on the pen style and select this pen style that is line black line and then click on the pen color and select a darker color like dark black color like this and then once you have selected these colors and pen style pen color and the pen style then come to these borders and click on the all borders now you can go to go back to shading and remove the no, fill so you can see here uh, a, a line two lined uh, two rows table has been created with simple uh, borders now again click on the table and uh, now what we need to do is remove this border and remove uh, the left border and the right border so click on this 
from the table design under border go to left border and click on it it will remove the left border you can see left border is removed now click again on the table from the table design borders click on the right border it has removed the right border of this table now the final thing we need to make this middle line a dotted one so click on the table from the table design go to the pen style and select this pen style that is dotted one and then click on the middle line now you can see a simple hand practice uh, line has been created this is the very first uh, part of this whole video so now uh, while selecting this table and control uh, from your keyboard press control plus T it will duplicate this line or row or simple table now move a bit down so it leaves some space between the rows like this now again click on this and control plus T to duplicate it again now adjust the distance be, uh, the, uh, between two tables these uh, these uh, this will show you that is here by moving up and down that the distance has been equal between the two rows now once you have done this just click on control plus T and keep clicking control plus T while holding uh, uh, control key keep pressing D around 11 times or 10 times so that you have created 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 11 lines have been created totally so uh, now let's see how it looks go to slideshow and from the beginning that is my first page that I have I have created earlier now click down arrow you can see here a simple uh, let, letter hand uh, handwriting practice paper has been created all we need to do is move this table align this these lines click select all these lines from the align to click shape format or align tool click center and then um, uh, select again select these line and move a bit them a bit down like this now we need to add these a's these letters to do that you need to have uh, download and install a special font that is from uh, the site fontspace.com you can search the uh, uh, letter from the search bar tracing font in the search bar uh, write tracing and hit enter and it will show you different fonts for tracing make sure you have clicked this commercial use so that the commercial use is allowed and from here download this font it says mv jadid trace it is 100 percent free and you can use it uh, commercially so i have already downloaded this and installed it so i will go to insert text box and write simple text uh, first select the font that is mv mv jadid and select this font that is now write letter a select this letter and make it bigger like 88 and move it on this line the very first line and zoom zoom in to see it is a bit bigger so make it smaller again you can see 
just move it down like this 672 size is the perfect one for this purpose now uh, select the color of this letter select this from the font color select a bit lighter color this one now press enter to uh, press space key uh, two times again write a space two times again a and a again now to place them in one line just make this text box go to over the end of this page and make sure it hits the outer edge so that our letters are properly centered select this text box and click this center line now zoom in and check the position of text box move a bit down no it has been it is perfect perfectly right a simple letter tracing or handwriting practice paper has been created now let's see how it looks wow that's perfect now what you can do is just duplicate this control plus t and change the letters only all you have to do is write b double space b double space b again and again now that's all you have to do is for your ease i have saved this as powerpoint uh, presentation uh, file that is tracing paper dot pptx and i will leave the link in the description so that you can download it and uh, change it yourself so that's is all from me in this video i have shown you how to create handwriting practice paper for kids or for adults and so if you are new to my channel then do subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any new video from me thanks for watching see you in the next video